So once you have it on your computer, it should be in the start menu. It'll probably be in a folder initially. I ha I don't have it in a folder, but just look for that ITLU folder, and within there you should see this icon with like a CD thingy. Um, and you're gonna run it, and you're gonna click on allow. Now, this is the general, this is the program itself. So, now we're going to get into the actual syncing. So, say you want to sync your music folder, which most of you probably will do since that's where you generally keep your music. So, you're going to open up your C drive or just your hard, your default hard drive. You're going to click on users, double click on users I mean mines are in this folder um, just you'll just find your music folder and you'll double click on that and uh, hit OK and you should you should see the actual path of where the folder is in in this box right here I suppose you can add another folder too. Supposing you want to add like your videos, if you keep them there, just again go to your hard drive, click on users, your own user, and you double click on the videos, and it should add to the box as well. Now we're gonna go through some options of the automatic syncing. So, add new media. Basically, what the new stuff in your music folder or just your folder will be added to your iTunes library automatically. Um, search in subdirectories. I guess this processes or edits the files in their original location, so check that. Alright, and uh, sorry, I'm kind of going along because I haven't used this in a while. Um, so cleaned orphan files or orphaned entries will basically delete the files from your iTunes library that you don't have anymore. You want that update track info? Actually, it does this automatically, as I've showed you before. But check it anyway if you want. Updates iPod. I actually don't use an iPod. I use my G1. So. I guess if that applies then you can check that. Um, and this if this will open up iTunes if it's not open when you're doing this. So if you want it to be closed again, if you're not planning to use iTunes, you can close it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Now some of these things are kind of just random, so Alright, I guess this is like a specific option that doesn't really apply that often. Then Synchro Clean. Alright, basically if you've like moved a file to another location from your music to let's say your desktop, it'll be deleted. Yeah, check that anyway. Um, then I recommend saving this profile so it remembers basically what to do and stuff like that. Uh, I guess a good place to save it at would be your um, your program files in your computer on your hard disk. So if you want, you can go on hard disk, double click on program files, find iTunes library updater, and say I'm going to call this my music. Then, when you're done, um, you'll be ready to update your music library. So let me let me show you an example. What so say go find a song in my music folder. Um, let's let's just delete the song for this instance. Just delete that song. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start the iTunes library updater. It's gonna load up iTunes because it does that all the time. And it's just gonna process all the stuff, update it, update your music and videos if you also added your videos folder. Once it's done, it'll actually tell you it's done. It takes about like a minute, two minutes max to go through this process. So just bear with me for now. And it said it's completed, so I can close this. Um, and I'll show you I deleted um, a song called Put Your Hands Up for Detroit. So if I search it, it's not there anymore. See, it's deleted. So that's pretty much it. Um, you'll be fine with updating your iTunes library that way. But there actually is an easier way to do this, a more direct way to do this. So as you saw before, we checked off some options such as add new media, search in subdirectory, sync or clean. I mean these options are kind of random and just unnecessary and if you want to just do it in a straightforward way there is a way. Basically we can agree that you just want to have the music that you put in any folder added automatically to iTunes and any song you delete from your folders to be deleted from your iTunes library and vice versa everything done automatically so these options just become kind of unnecessary